we have gone through both classical and uh, quantum uh, theories of paramagnetism and we have seen that uh, the expected behavior of magnetic susceptibility is uh, C over T, where T is temperature and C is the uh, Curry constant. But however, we find that for uh, most paramagnetic uh, materials, there is a slight modification uh, to Curry's law. Uh, that is, it is not C over T, but it is C over T minus theta. So uh, this comes from an attempt to explain a, an experimental observation that we have for uh, many paramagnetic materials. We have the susceptibility is given by a constant C divided by temperature, absolute temperature, minus theta instead of a constant C divided by T, that is uh, Carey's law. Okay, and which materials are these? Uh, well, these are uh, paramagnets uh, that are becoming ferromagnets below the Curry temperature. So um, the modified form of Curry's law, C over T minus theta, we're going to call Curry-Weiss Curry law. And paramagnets uh, that follow Curry-Weiss law Uh, become uh, either ferromagnetic or anti-ferromagnetic below a certain temperature. So they will become uh, ferromagnets below the Curie temperature Tc and we will see that Tc is approximately equal to theta. So this basically, theta represents a critical temperature where we see a phase transition from a ferromagnet to an anti-ferromagnet. Or uh, we will see that they will become um, anti-ferromagnets. below the nail temperature. Okay, so we will see both cases. Well, so uh, Weiss, trying to explain this experimental observation, came up with a postulate. So he said that uh, the atomic moments in the paramagnet are not free of internal interaction. There exists a what he calls a molecular field that establishes the interaction between localized moments. So Weiss postulate is the following. There exists what he calls a molecular field uh, that establishes the interaction between localized moments. So there is a slight modification to uh, Curie's law by considering a molecular field that it represents the interaction between localized moments. So this Weiss molecular field, I'm going to show it with H uh, sub W, is proportional to the magnetization M. So HW is gamma times M, where gamma is the molecular 
field constant and M is our magnetization. So uh, this is basically the postulate. There is a vice molecular field uh, that is responsible for the interaction or accounts for the interaction between localized moments and it's proportional to the magnetization M. So it is gamma times M. So uh, with this postulate, he basically said that the total magnetic field that a moment sees is the applied magnetic field H plus, plus the Weiss uh, molecular field. So when we say that susceptibility has to be, uh, which is M divided by H, has to be C over T, this H must be replaced with H total. So for a moment, uh, we should replace H with H total, the total magnetic field it sees. So, therefore, we find that the susceptibility in Curie-Weiss law is going to become C, a constant C, divided by H plus molecular field constant gamma times magnetization. So, this is equal to C divided by T in uh, Curie's law. Okay, so uh, this basically implies that uh, we're going to have uh, this is M divided by H has been replaced with M divided by H plus gamma M uh, and this must be obeying Curie's law, which is C over T, because H plus gamma M is the total field a moment sees. So this is going to imply that M times T is equal to uh, the constant C times the applied field H plus C gamma M. So if we take this into M parentheses, M parentheses T minus C gamma is equal to uh, the constant C times H uh, so that when I look at magnetization I see that it is the constant uh, C divided by T minus C gamma times H which is in the form C divided by T minus theta H so theta is equal to Curie constant C times molecular field constant gamma. Okay, so basically, uh, indeed, by postulating that there is a Weiss molecular field, we can come up with a susceptibility uh, M divided by H applied field. This is in the form T over a uh, C over T minus. Theta. So what happens when the temperature is equal to theta? Uh, when T is equal to theta, we will find that the susceptibility diverges. What does the sus divergence of susceptibility imply? Uh, this implies a phase transition. So there is a phase transition uh, to spontaneously ordered phase. So this could be antiferromagnetic or ferromagnetic ordering. Now we see that if the value of theta is positive, uh, the molecular, that means gamma is positive, that means the molecular field, uh, Weiss molecular field, HW is in the direction of the applied field. So if the theta value is positive, this means that we're talking about 
a ferromagnet paramagnet phase transition when the temperature is theta then theta is approximately the Curie temperature on the other hand if we find that the value of theta is negative that means the Weiss molecular uh, field constant is uh, negative so the molecular field HW is now anti-parallel is opposing uh, opposite in direction uh, with respect to the applied field H and this will imply we're talking about an anti-ferromagnet so anti-ferromagnet paramagnet phase transition and theta is roughly the nail temperature the critical temperature where we have the anti-ferromagnet paramagnet phase transition so uh, we can estimate uh, the Weiss molecular field so uh, let's estimate HW okay so how can we do that well at T is equal to TC the Curie temperature the interaction energy uh, between the moments is going to be of the order of Bohr magneton times the Weiss molecular field right because we have a moment inside a field that the field is the Weiss molecular field uh, so that must be roughly equal to the thermal energy which is Boltzmann constant times temperature so this is the condition uh, we're looking for to estimate the Weiss molecular field so that is uh, we can do this using uh, let's do this using CGS units now the Boltzmann constant KB uh, is of the order 10 to minus 23 joules per Kelvin and so in CGS units we can take this as 10 to minus 16 ergs per Kelvin uh, by recognizing that one joule is 10 to 7 ergs and for a typical Curie temperature let's take a value of 1000 Kelvin of course this varies from material to material uh, for the value of Bohr magneton uh, we have 9.27 10 to minus uh, 24 joules per Tesla uh, which in SI units is going to be 9.27 times 10 to minus 21 ergs per Ersted okay so uh, then we can calculate the Weiss molecular field so 9.27 times 10 to minus 21 HW is equal to 10 to minus 16 uh, ergs per Kelvin times 1000 Kelvin so we see that this is roughly uh, 10 to minus 20 and here I have uh, 10 to minus 13 so I find that the Weiss molecular field is about 10 to 7 Ersted and 10 to 7 Ersted B is equal to H plus 4 pi M in CGS so uh, this is going to correspond to in the absence of magnetization this corresponds to 10 to 7 uh, Gauss which corresponds to because we have one tesla is equal to 10,000 uh, gauss 10 to 3 tesla 
okay so a wise molecular field so the answer to this question hw is of the order of one uh, 10 to 7 Earth's death for BW of the order of 10 to 3 Tesla. Now, what is the origin of this uh, Weiss molecular field that we're going to discuss later? when we start talking about ferromagnetism. So what is the origin of the uh, molecular field? We will discuss later. Okay, so in summary, in most paramagnetic materials, we find that the Curie law C over T is replaced by C over T minus theta, where theta is the Curie temperature for uh, ferromagnets, and it is the nail temperature for anti-ferromagnets and uh, the theta value is positive for uh, well the, the 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 reason behind this is explained by Weiss with a postulate saying that there exists a molecular field that accounts for the interaction between localized moments which is proportional to magnetization gamma times m gamma is the molecular field constant so when we write curie's law uh, writing susceptibilities m uh, m over h is c over t is wrong according to weiss we should replace m over h with m over h total where h total includes the applied field plus the molecular field and doing so we find that there exists a theta which is c times gamma now depending on the value uh, on the sign of uh, this theta this theta becoming positive corresponds to a molecular field in the direction of the applied field implies that we have a phase transition at theta is equal to tc susceptibility diverges if theta is negative where so gamma is negative uh, we find that the Weiss molecular field is opposing the applied field and it's an anti-ferromagnet theta is well absolute value of theta of course is the nail temperature so uh, we can clarify because nail temperature is not negative now how to estimate this Weiss molecular field what well, at this uh, critical phase transition temperature the interaction energy between the Weiss molecular field and the magnetic moments uh, mu b h w is of the order of thermal energy k b t c and doing this calculation in cgs units we find that the Weiss molecular field is of the order of 10 to 7 earth states which corresponds to about 10 to 3 tesla of b field and the origin of this huge field is unclear at this moment of our discussion we will get back to this when we start talking about ferromagnetism